design and render a double glass cup in Katia V5. Okay, so this is the reference image for the double glass cup. I'm gonna start Katia and let's see how we can model this in imaginary shape. So we have go to shape, imaginary shape, I'm gonna define a new part. I'm gonna let the enable hybrid design uh, checked. So to get started with the with the body of uh, the of the cup, I'm gonna start from a sphere. I will pick one of my planes so that I know that my newly defined primitive will be centered. So something like a Y and Z plane. After that, I will go and define a sphere. So with this uh, modeled, let's uh, swap the, the dimensions. We can either go with dimensions, but I like to go uh, with this addition. So with everything selected, so select all element will be this. After that, I'm gonna go on affinity. And I see that by, <coughs> by default, Katia has um, this, so it will be 100 uh, millimeters. I can have access to those uh, coordinates over here within the edition section. So I'm gonna start with something like uh, 150 for each. So this will be the, the constraints of my original uh, sphere, the, the one that I previously defined. After that, I will go on uh, erasing and I will delete the top part. So this will be the shape. I will stop the erase tool. Now to define the, the double edge, the not double edge, double glass uh, cup, I'm gonna go with an offset of the original one and it will maintain this shape, so the interior one. So I will select the first uh, subdivision surface one, have that copy, paste, and with the second one selected, <coughs> I will press space. After that, all element selection. And for the second one, I will go, I will remain on affinity to influence the scale of the object. And I will go on, uh, 1.25 like this but currently they say they share the same uh, position on Z and I will also increase this to 1.25 and now I need to uh, bring the inner uh, cup at the same uh, height with the initial one I can do that with the translation tool so I will select the second subdivision Select everything, so this, select all element selection, after that translation, and on addition I'm gonna input some uh, some values. <coughs> so we know that initially it had uh, 150, so I need to subtract 125, and I need to uh, subdivide that by 2. So let's try and see if uh, we can add an equation over here in Katia. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe for the formula, I'm just gonna make it manually so I know that uh, it's 25. Uh, it should be um, 12.5, so this will be that. I know that you can add some uh, some calculus just like in SOLIDWORKS. I, I will take a look at that. So we have the both surface aligned at the same edge. Now we're gonna need to have those um, merged. So to do the merging, we're gonna search for this one, merge. And we see, with the merge active, uh, I need to select the subdivision surface. So I will want to merge the subdivision surface one with subdivision surface two. And by default, uh, if it's not uh, like this propagating, you should uh, go and activate that. And we can go on um, on the second one that will be called join mode. 
So this will be the the final um, merge. But I see that at the top I will receive a flat surface. So I will go with the weight and I will lower that something like uh, 70. <clears throat> also keep in mind that uh, currently we only see a preview. I need to press uh, escape key and I will say okay I want to have this modified or press uh, the checkbox the enter and after that I will have my uh, my shape defined so now to better uh, see the inner wall we're gonna need to add some uh, transparency so as you can see after the merge the second sub surface is hidden I only have uh, one of, of those so subdivision surface one and over here within the graphic properties we can change the visibility if you don't have uh, this graphic property you can activate it it's called like this graphic properties you go on an empty area on the toolbar and you're gonna search for graphic properties so it will be this the third position and after that you can have it position over there that's one way to access visibility uh, the transparency of the object and now I see the, the interior of that or you can um, do it manually with right click on the subdivision go to properties and we're gonna have the graphic area and over here we can define the transparency so it will be a value from 0 to uh, 255 okay. <coughs> I will uh, I will use the so that will uh, be zero two five five I will go for something like fifteen for this case so let's take a look we have this uh, area defined but we see that we're gonna need to have a flat surface so the cup will uh, will sit proper on the table so to do that. I will select the subdivision surface one i will hit space to activate the tool palette and now i will uh, select the bottom face and over here we can um, we can do some adjustment so i will go on the attraction uh, tool and i will put the attraction uh, we're gonna see that only the bottom face will move so the uh, interior of the cup will remain the same since I only have that selected so I will put this uh, to somewhere like uh, 25 for the weight value I'm gonna hit enter to have that applied and I'm gonna see that the shape will, will look like this so let me let me see if you can also find a different uh, adjustment for that so we're gonna have the sharp to smooth and again with the attraction tool I really want it to be around 50 and let's see how the shape okay so now it's a lot better we see that it's uh, more uniformly um, shaped than previously so keep in mind this important sharp to smooth with that activated um, the curvature from the initial uh, sphere will influence that and it will no longer be that uh, that flat so have that reposition and now on the bottom <coughs> i will go and uh, do a subdivision because i want an additional uh, area that i can uh, maybe move a little bit on z-axis so have that selected and we're going to search for the subdivision surface it will be over here <coughs> near now uh, with the face cutting so I have that activated and um, let's say for the ratio I will want something uh, quite high something like 0 0.9 in this case and that will be that uh, that bottom part so we also need to add the handle but we see that over here it was uh, currently it's more uh, straight uh, down and we want to have that conical shape for the exterior so reselect the bottom part 
I will select the, the bottom faces. I can do it like this with a point. I will hold down shift to do a trap selection, grab all the eight points at the bottom. And now I will go to affinity to influence the scale of, uh, of the object over here. And I see I have on X 150, on Y the same. And I will go with like something uh, 75. Let's see what that will look like. It's quite uh, quite a lot. 1 to 5 to 1 to 5. And we see the conical shape uh, will slowly appear. Maybe even to 105, 105. We're just gonna need to be careful that uh, there will be enough room between the the two the two surfaces, so the inner surface and the outer surface. And we can also uh, maybe lower the top part, since currently we're gonna have the bottom uh, cavity defined over there, and we see that this should be way closer to that. So I can. Um, decide and uh, move all the bottom area a little bit. So pick, uh, pick those elements and have them uh, translated towards the top part. So something like, uh, like this. Now we're gonna have that area and also the exterior. So let's uh, Let's address also the the handle. We can do this with um, with the torus. That's the fastest way. So I'm gonna select the Y and Z plane again to have the new torus aligned over here, and I'm gonna go on uh, on this definition for the torus. Okay, I will select everything and. Uh, move it to the side, for example, to the right. Now we need to cut the torus in half. We can do that with the face cutting. It's called uh, erasing in Katia. And we see that it either works by uh, control click to add the selection, but we can also use the same trap selection, just like uh, we can select multiple vertices. So in this case, I will hold down shift key and I will make a trap that will um, it will allow me to cut the, the torus in half. After that, I will click enter to have that uh, processed. So now we just need to make the, the handle smaller. We're going to take a look over here for proportions. So first select everything and go to affinity, go to definition. And uh, I'm going to make it a lot smaller. So something like uh, 10 on uh, X on Y uh, 30 and for the height something like maybe 80 for start. So we see uh, the Y axis in this case will give us the width. Maybe we can make it a little uh, more. The X uh, axis will give us uh, that. So currently is uh, 10 to 4 uh, ratio for that. Let's maybe have that increase to, uh, to 50. And as for the height, uh, we can go maybe with 100, maybe stick with something lesser. We can uh, always adjust uh, this. So I will go for this uh, for these values. After that, I will go back to, to the back view. And I will have this. Uh, so all the half uh, of torus, have it uh, bring uh, back, uh, let's say, closer to, to our shape. And over here it's important that we're going to have this uh, overlap. So the two uh, surfaces should be pierced one, one to the other. So the torus through this, this one. And at the bottom I will select the, the two vertices. And let's take a look at this again. I'm gonna have those um, translated somewhere like this. I can always uh, do a little bit of, uh, of rotation with the rotation tool. So maybe if I uh, would like the handle to be joined like this, 
I can do the same over here. I can just adjust the top point. That will also uh, do the same as uh, as rotating the whole uh, edge. And now for the for the other uh, shape, I can just uh, quickly trace it. I see that the reference uh, was uh, something like this. And uh, you can also go over here on uh, Reset Robot if you want your axis to be perfectly uh, realigned. Okay, so keep in mind Robot Reset. Okay, let's say that this will uh, will do. I will hit. Uh, you can either press Enter. I usually prefer to press Escape. And after that, yes, to have that uh, option uh, stay. So now I would like to add thickness to the, the glass, for example one uh, millimeter, but before I can do that I will need to, to trim these, uh, these two bodies, these two surfaces, these two subdivisions. So search for the trim tool, if you don't find over here you can either type C uh, two dots uh, trim. Or you can find at the top if you're gonna go on insert. Uh, let's see exactly where the trimming should be. On shape operations and trim. So for the trimming, I will select the initial subdivision and also the modify torus. And over here we're gonna have multiple uh, options. For me, I see that by default uh, it's the correct one. But um, uh, keep swapping the other side. So, for instance, for this uh, example, I will only have the outer part of the handle selected. If I would have that reverse, I will have uh, uh, everything. And I can do the same uh, over here. So, maybe I only want the intersection, I can obtain that using trim. So, keep in mind that there are various, um, let's say, trimming options over here. And I'm gonna hit OK, and uh, I will remove the opacity. So this will be our uh, our cup. I can also decide to add uh, a material. So you're gonna find over here apply material. I'm gonna go to other, and I'm gonna search for uh, over here. We're gonna have the smoke glass have that drag and drop and applied and uh, to have it visualized we're gonna need to enable it so at the bottom shading with materials or you can go on custom it's important to have this material added and you can maintain the uh, edges so this will be our shape with um, with no transparency it's not that visible now in, within the viewport, but if I will go and have this rendered, for example, I can uh, I can select a different scene so it wouldn't be rendered on the clouds. Now Katia should uh, open a list with various uh, backgrounds where we can adjust some lighting and um, other parameters. Usually it shouldn't take this long to have that open. Okay, so I will go for the default one. This will be. And uh, there are some other parameters, but I'm just gonna click on render and see how the final image with, uh, will form with the glass for, for that. So we're gonna see the computer is currently rendering. And we're gonna have that uh, material added. The rendering takes quite a while for uh, this resolution, it's not a high resolution, close to 2 megapixel resolution, and that will be our shape. Also keep in mind that currently our model doesn't have any thickness, so if we, I will do a section cut uh, to the double glass uh, cup, I won't be able to measure its thickness. So let's see how we can add uh, that thickness. We can either do that in mechanical part, uh, mechanical design part design, or we can do that in shape and geometry shape design. 
for this case study I will go with um, the part design so over here we're gonna have the possibility to add thickness over here thick surface if I will go on close surface the software will add me material uh, within the the part so in our case we're gonna need a thick surface I'm gonna select the the face and in this case it's usually better to go uh, on the reverse so for the second offset I will put one millimeter and let's see if the software will be able to have that enabled so even two millimeters should work uh, fine I will stick with one for this because the the cup will become uh, more bulky as we add that one millimeter and uh, to visualize the, the thickness we can go to dynamic sectioning at the bottom so I'm gonna click on dynamic sectioning and after that I need to choose my sectioning plane and we're gonna see that uh, we have that uh, double uh, double surface and within section uh, through the handle we're gonna have this uh, this area okay so that uh, that looks pretty pretty good so now another important aspect will be regarding the uh, cup size so to do that and to measure the volume of the of the inner uh, surface we can uh, have that uh, surface extracted so I'm gonna go on uh, start shape I'm gonna search for uh, Jati shape design and over here I will need a tool that allows me to to extract the surface so in this case uh, those will be over here let me reposition some so we can also add thickness from this volume within uh, Jati shape design but I'm just gonna have this uh, realigned so that they will be horizontal and within the operation so if you don't find multiple extraction you can right click on an empty space and it will be operation over here or you can find them at the top insert operation and again we're gonna search for uh, multiple extract so I'm gonna have that selected and now I will select the uh, inner areas of, uh, of the cup so this will be that we also have a wide area over here so there we're gonna have some uh, some volume we can have this extrapolated and uh, fill afterwards to better check the the full uh, volume of the, of the cup so I will have those selected like this and now I will move this extract as a new part body this is not mandatory but I prefer to do it like this so I have that copy go it in the body paste special and I will put it as a result and I will hide that one I will also hide the thick surface, so I'll only have that uh, that shown. So, defining work object on body two, we can have this uh, field, but this will fill it at, uh, at our level. We should uh, maybe have this boundary uh, a little bit, uh, let's say, extruded or extrapolated we can go with extrapolate and we can have that uh, selected and this will uh, again uh, increase with uh, with a 10 or we can uh, also have this extracted and cut but that's a little bit more complicated so to ease the things for uh, for this i'm gonna leave it like this and we're gonna gonna round it up so what we're gonna receive on the top round it up with uh, with that additional uh, area so now I'm gonna fill it fill the top and now I can go and have all those uh, joined so the, the fill 
and the extrapolate have those two joined now if i try to hide the join i'm gonna see that all the surface is gonna be hidden that means that i can go to start part design and i can have that field with this uh, closed surface select the the body okay and now i can hide the surface and underneath it i'm gonna have that uh, that solid part solid body so i'm gonna see if i'm gonna go in, into section over here i'm gonna have that uh, field and i can also have the cup um, uh, let's say have it displayed and uh, without the material so it will be easier to to visualize that and now for the closed surface i can go over here on the measure inertia and uh, i have the possibility to to see the volume of this so again for uh, this closed surface we're gonna have the volume over here so currently it's uh, around uh, 940 milliliters so we're gonna need to have this uh, scaled to do that we can easily add a scaling modifier so on the existing uh, part body i'm gonna go back i'm gonna hide uh, that uh, that surface with uh, which we measured uh, that uh, volume and with the possibility to have this uh, transformed and we can go with uh, scaling so i'm gonna want to to scale this i need to define a reference in our case i'm gonna put a point in zero 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 and i'm gonna have this scaled um, let's say the ratio should be somewhere like uh, 0 0.3 just as a as a test for this and this will be the the scale model i'm gonna have that shown that's quite uh, quite small let's go to 0 0.5 that will be 0 0.5 and now if i'm gonna hide the the original mesh so it will be this one called uh, trim again i have the possibility to uh, measure measure this but uh, again we're gonna need to have those extracted so i need to go to geometry shape design i'm gonna go to uh, multiple extraction i'm gonna be over here have those area selected i'm not gonna de uh, define a new part body i'm just gonna do it uh, over here also i'm not gonna extrapolate again just a quick uh, measurement for this uh, so you wouldn't feel uh, fill it up to the max i'm gonna hide the the scale so i can have those two joined and again i will go to part design close surface for this and now we can measure uh, measure that so we're gonna have this close surface but i'm just gonna copy that so i can measure it better so have that copy go to part insert new body define your work object have it paste over here so with that selected measure inertia and we're gonna see that uh, that volume for this so this will be close to uh, 300 milliliters okay so one last thing regarding uh, the rendering i highly recommend that you use a different software so I'm gonna have this saved. I'm gonna go over here on desktop. I'm gonna call this uh, double glass. I will have it uh, as a cut part, and I will start uh, key shot. So let's take a look. If I'm gonna uh, import uh, using the drag and drop of the previously generated uh, element. So that cut part, uh, so Keyshot has the possibility to import uh, directly from Katia. So have that drag and dropped, and we're gonna have that imported. 
we're gonna have a uh, bit position like this so the y and z are rotated but we can always go and select it and we're gonna report it uh, onto the position like this after that snap to ground to have it over there and we have the possibility to add some materials so i'm gonna go on glass we see we have the interior surface which i'm gonna unlink material and i'm gonna put the glass uh, over here and after that we're gonna have this surface that i'm just slightly gonna move so we don't have that uh, that black section over there since they are perfectly overlapped and there are multiple surfaces in that region okay so to to fix that you can either uh, have this splitted but if you're just gonna slightly move it on uh, like this like 0 0.01 you shouldn't have that uh, anymore and over here we can put something like uh, liquid this is light so liquid I'm gonna put this uh, liquid coffee texture and now if I would like to have this render uh, within the default environment let me reposition something like this I will lower this because it's quite uh, quite a large resolution let's go for a full HD so I'm gonna go to landscape after that full HD and now from the preset I can pick that I'm gonna go for 3 and 3 for anti-aliasing and shadows and if I'm gonna hit render I'm gonna see uh, the cup rendered much uh, let's say much better than uh, what Katia can do. You can also add some uh, some decals on the top. Maybe if you want to add like a cappuccino texture or stuff like that. But uh, this was the main uh, purpose of the video regarding uh, the merge tool and how you can obtain a double uh, double glass cup using Katia and have it after that uh, rendered. so this will be the the final input i can also adjust the environment currently it's just a blank um, environment also the glass i i can also tweak that a bit so i'm gonna have this go all the way to the end and let's tweak a little bit the glass so again i'm gonna search for uh, glass and let's go for something like uh, droplets white and you see we're gonna have this effect so we're gonna have various droplets uh, within that or we can go for something like frosted which will have this uh, this look this will render it a bit slower you can always adjust uh, the material so you can select it uh, edit material and we're gonna have for this uh, frosted we're gonna have the transparency distance currently set to five we can go either uh, lower or we can even increase that like uh, 15 it was 5 by default also we can choose the roughness and the refraction index so we were gonna get uh, various results uh, depending on how we adjust uh, those parameters it's the same for uh, for other material like this is quite uh, gray we can have that uh, look more uh, more glass like and we can also put uh, an environment we're gonna see some of the reflections from this environment but if you're gonna go only for the color we're gonna see the reflections uh, within the, the glass cup or maybe like this like uh, within a shop okay so i'm gonna put this uh, at the final render i see that the video is quite uh, longer longer than expected so I'm gonna have this rendered and I'm gonna put this on the on the thumbnail for the video so let's wait for that to open also maybe the one from Katia if you're gonna go shading with uh, with material but I need to have that uh, that reapplied since this was scaled to go uh, down to 300 milliliters 
uh, the scale model doesn't have the texture anymore so I will just have to reapply it so small glass have that applied and over here we see the the same uh, so this way in uh, key shot I uh, increase since uh, there are two surfaces that are currently on the same position so that's why we, we get that artifact and we see the final render slowly uh, progressing within key shot so the rendering is a little bit slower but the overall quality of the final picture is way better this is why I, I suggest you to, to give the software a try you can do that it's a 15 days free trial directly on their, on their website Okay, so I'm gonna wait for that to, to have it uh, render so I can do the, the thumbnail screenshot for this. Okay, so if you find this video useful, please do not forget to, to maybe subscribe and also give me a like so that uh, I, will I will create more uh, similar videos like this. Okay, bye.